Hi everybody, I'm Houston Singletary with Ableton and welcome to Getting Started with Live. In this tutorial movie, we'll take a look at exporting audio in Live. Now when you finish a song in Live, you probably want to create a file that you can burn to CD, upload to the internet, or bring to a mastering house. So today, we'll look at how to quickly export or render audio in Live. The Arrangement View is where you arrange your song along the timeline from left to right. When you're finished with your arrangement, select a range of time to render by clicking and dragging. Usually, you'll want to render the whole song. It's often a good idea to select past the end of your material so that reverb or delay sounds that extend beyond the last clip are included in the rendered file. When in doubt, listen to the end of your song and note when the last sound fades away. Then make your selection from there back to the beginning of your arrangement. To make a selection easier, hit Shift Home on a PC or Function Shift Back Arrow on a Mac to select all the way to the beginning. Now press Control Shift R on a PC or Command Shift R on a Mac to begin the exporting process. Depending on your version of Live, this window may look different, but these are typical settings. Although Normalize may make your track louder, it's not the ideal solution for giving tracks a full, finished sound. For this, you'll need to understand compression, limiting, and mastering, which is beyond the scope of this tutorial. You can save your song as either WAV or AIFF, which are both high-quality file types. Note that you cannot render MP3s in Live, so you'll need to use a third-party application to create MP3s from your WAV or AIFF files. To create a file that you can burn to an audio CD right away, make sure that the sample rate is set to 44100. And bit depth is set to 16. We recommend setting the dither to triangular. If you plan to master your track later, however, choose a bit depth of 24 and no dither. Now click OK. Select the location for your WAV or AIFF and click Save. Wait as your song renders. This may take a couple of minutes depending on the length and complexity of your song. For detailed information on these exporting audio options, please see the Managing Files and Sets chapter of the Ableton Reference Manual, available from the Help menu. And that's the basics of exporting audio in Ableton Live.